After seeing this video, I immediately knew that I wanted to try this plugin. It's a plugin by Tara Plus that allows you to load BSP files into Garot. BSP files are the map files for Half-Life, so that means that you can also load maps from other mods, for instance Counter-Strike. I don't have the old Counter-Strike files, but luckily the Internet Archive has a repository of more than a thousand Half-Life maps that you can download. So I picked us two because it's the map that I spent the most time in, so I know it well enough. Starting from a fresh project, I download the plugin from GitHub and I add it into Godot. I enable it from the settings. I will now download Dust2 from the Internet Archive files, de underscore Dust2. Feel free to try any of your favorite maps. Now I will create a new folder, which will be called Dust2 to store the files, and I will extract the content of the zip file into this new folder. Now that they are loaded in Godot, I can create a new 3D scene. Let's save it as Dust2. Now you have to open the add-ons folder and drag this BSP map DSCN to your scene. This will create this kind of node, which you can select, and here you have the import options for the plugin. Basically, you will want to search for the path here to the Dust2 maps, Dust2 PSP. And now you have all these options that you can select, and then whenever you select the options that you want, you can create map. It will not look exactly as we expected, but let's try it out. It takes a bit of time, but sometimes it might hang and crash. Here is the first time we imported a map. So first of all, we see that the map is a bit dark, which we don't like. And there are a lot of errors. If you see here that some of the walls are transparent. So how to fix all those issues? Sometimes you import them and they work better, but in this time we need some tweaking. So let's go ahead and remove all these, which are all the nodes created. Let's delete them. And instead of importing with the default options, let's remove the optimize and let's create the map again. Okay, so now we see it, we've got better results. You can see now that some of the walls are not transparent anymore, but it's still very dark. That's because the default environment in Godot is a bit dark for this kind of map. So let's create a new child node and it's going to be a world environment. Then let's create this new environment for setting up the light and in ambient light we want it to be white. And let's set it to something like tree so it's a bit more bright. Okay. So now this is starting to look like dust too. We see that some of the shadows have, a, have some issues here. Most of the textures are working and the light that you see and the shadows that you see on the map are already baked in, so they are inside of the model. If you notice that they have these blue outlines, I don't know if you can see them because they are very small, but you can select these nodes and basically it's made of meshes that are the parts like the Lego bricks that build your map. This is how they get imported into Godot. And as you can see here, there are some graphical issues with the importer and they are very inconsistent. Every time I imported the map, I saw different issues here and there, but it's pretty, pretty good. Let's let's change the color of the sky. Let's, let's make the sky here. It's a good place. Let's change the sky. Okay, so background, clear color. That's a custom color and set, I don't know, like something like this. Now that we have the map, let's try to walk through it. Instead of doing the entire tutorial thingy and doing a first person shooter controller, I will get this uh, pre-made node from Garbage. I added the player here, which is the same with the FPS controller. Okay, so we have it here. Oh, it's super tiny. Okay, let's see how tiny it is. It's a bit small. When you import the map, you have the scale factor, which is now at one. I think that the FPS controller is too small, but we can fix that in a very ugly way. Three, three tall. That looks kind of like a, okay, let's try it out. And yeah, I can move my mouse. I still cannot move because I haven't configured the controls, but we're pretty much inside the map in, in Godot. Okay, let's set up the, the keyboard keys. Let's try it out again, and we should be able to walk around the map. Okay, so yeah, we're pretty much walking through dust too. Let's see if we jump. We have collisions. The jump is a bit lower, but yeah. This can be a good way to set up like some prototype levels. If you already know how your Counter-Strike maps feel, and you want to make like an FPS 
but you don't want to go through the hassle of making test levels for you know trying it out you you can basically do this and you know have dust to or any other whole life map in your game and just try it out see how the scale of the characters are I don't like the rendering a lot like it has a lot of issues but I think that this is something that we have to modify with Godot it's not the importer itself another experiment that we can do is instead of using this light which is the one that is provided by the map itself the map information we can try to use Godot's own illumination so let's make a new scene and let's import it again without the lighting instead of adding import light maps let's remove this one and see how it looks Okay, we see now that there are no light maps whatsoever. We have the, the default environment, so that's the sky and the horizon and all, but no shadows whatsoever, which I believe makes it less buggy. There are less textures that are broken, but okay, let's add some global illumination. Okay, directional light. Okay, and we see here that we have already some light. Let's move the sun closer so we can see the direction that it's looking at. Okay, it's looking that way. Let's move it like this. Rotate it that. It was kind of like this, okay. So now all the objects are illuminated by Garot. They cast no shadows, but at least this looks good. The issue now is if I enable the shadows, you will see that it's not exactly meant to be like this. Like It looks nice, but in this kind of shapes where they are hollow and there are no content inside of course the only shadow cast is whatever you see from here so in this case this part of the wall is the only thing making a shadow i think you can fix this if you go through the map um but i would just i don't know it doesn't look like the real dust to to me especially because the light is very soft in Gorod, and i don't know i kind of like the old school shadow that you have but it's pretty nice the interiors this this looks really bad no th this doesn't look good at all but at least you can experiment with some other lighting juan please fix <laughs> <laughs>